ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inahanda namin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami hanggang sa papalapit ng final week of competition when we reveal our new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants, all special needs education students of ERIS or Eulogio Among Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First off, we have Owa who is a student athlete whose hobbies are playing volleyball, walkathon, and listening to K-pop groups from YGE. Tin's interests, on the other hand, include reading Wattpad and watching movies and music. Kyle is a working student who spends her free time traveling, cooking, and best of all, sleeping. And finally, we have Yana, whose hobbies are watching horror movies, traveling, and documenting every moment. She also listens to Taylor Swift and OPM artists. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, also from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host, otherwise your answers might not get any credit. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Question number one. In what city near Metro Manila can you find the waterfall Hinulugang Takta? Yana. Um, Tanay Dizal. Tanay is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Antipolo. Question number two. In mythology, what metal did King Midas turn everything he touched into? Owa. Gold. Gold is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Hanoi is the capital of which Asian country? Owa. Vietnam. Vietnam is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what organ can you find small bones nicknamed hammer, anvil, and stero? The correct answer is here. Question number five. The provinces of Ontario, Alberta, and Manitoba are located in which North American country? Yana. Canada. Canada is correct. Okay, check. Question number six in mental math. What number is exactly between 12 and 32? The correct answer is 22. Question number seven. What word may mean correct in one sense and opposite of left in another? Owa. Right. Right is right. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which president is pictured at the front of the 200 peso bill? Owa. Just Dado Makapagal. Just Dado Makapagal is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What gym equipment is a long metal bar that usually has weights added on both ends? Owa. Dumbbell. Dumbbell is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is barbell. Question number 10. What do you call a male sheep? The correct answer is ram. 
Question number 11. From the Greek words without a God, what term describes a person who does not believe in the existence of a God or any gods? Oh, what? Atheist. Atheist is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. What do you call a long crimson floor covering that is put down for important persons when they go on an official visit or attend a special event? Tin. Red carpet. Red carpet is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that first round, we have Owa out in the lead with 50 points, followed by Tin and Yana with 10 points each, and Kyle with a lot of catching up to do. And of course, ito nang isa sa ating favorite parts sa ating program, which is getting to know our contestants a little more. Yes. So, unang-una natin tatirin, Owa, first time yatang may contestant dito na nag-wo-wokaton. Can you tell us more about this particular sport? Um, Wakaton po, ito po ay isang um, race walk. When um, yung race walk po, um, unlike po nung um, typical na takbuhan, um, yung takbo po is nagbeban po yung mga knees. While sa ano po, um, Wakaton is straight knees po and with um, Kembot. So, ano po, um, parang duck walk po, ganun. Parang ano? A duck, duck walk. walk. Nanalo ka na ba sa sa isang um, competition or this is purely um yes po nanalo na po am um, last po June finish ko po is um year 2019 po mm. best in camp oh. <laughs> may nakikita ko sa oval niyan <laughs> yung mga oh. mga ganun so pwede natin i yan minsan walk up on kung ayaw yung tumakbo po okay salamat po <laughs> ito naman si Tin si Tin naman ay isang avid Wattpad Reader. So, Tin, ano bang mga klaseng kwento ang sinusubaybayan mo sa Wattpad? Mga love story lang po. Like, I don't listen to her. So, kung ikaw ay bibigyan ng pagkakataon na sumulat ng isang Wattpad story, tungkol saan nito? Um, ano po? Sa love din po, since madaming makaka-relate na mga ano, teenager ngayon. May hugot ka ba doon sa isusulat mo? <laughs> Noon po. Ano? Parang may. Sakto lang po. Ay, sakto. <laughs> Well, actually, personally, hindi pa ako nakakapag Wattpad. So maybe sa dami ng mga Wattpad aficionado yes. dito, we should, I should probably get Tapos may mga ina-adapt in two films, di ba? Yes. Or po. series okay. from Wattpad. Maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants. Mamaya naman ay si Kyle at si Yana naman ang kakausapin natin. Pero bago yan, maghanda muna tayong lahat for round two. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Owa is leading with 50 points. Si Tin at si Yana naman ay tied with 10 points each. At si Kyle pwede pang humahalbol sa mga susunod nating rounds. Well, talking about Kyle, of course we want to ask her what kind of work do you do? Ako meron akong special place in my heart for working students kasi sila yung tinuturuan ko sa college of work. So how challenging is it and what kind of work do you do? I'm actually working as a call center agent at Concentrix UP Techno Hub. Mm. And you still have time for studying and all your other hobbies? Yes po. Kaya po, mahilig po ako matulog kasi yun na lang po yung Oo, nga, ano, nga. mababawi ka sa sarili. <laughs> Sorry na. No. Kasi sa, sa umaga po, <laughs> nag, nag, uh, nag-aaral, tapos sa gabi, nagtatrabaho naman po. Yeah, at least may context so you na deserve, yung sleeping. And you yeah. deserve every minute that you are able to go to sleep. Ang ah, sarap matulog. Oh, no. Sarap matulog. Okay, ito naman si Yana. So, sinabi natin si Yana ay mahilig mag-document ng lahat ng mga ginagawa niya every moment. Ba't hindi mo ito dinodocument ngayon? Document na po kanila. <laughs> document na. So, when you say you're documenting every moment, ano ibig sabihin? Ano po, lahat po na kunwari, um, may ginagawa lang po ako. Pinipiturang po po lahat ng ginagawa ko or nag-vid ako para pag uh, may gusto po akong balahit, balikan, nakikita ko po siya. Mm, pinupost mo ba siya? Ah, uh, hindi po. Pinaprivate ko lang po. Gumagawa ah. po ako ng album ko sa FB and naka-only me lang po. So, parang journal mo siya? Oo po, parang ah. ganun ko. Kaya ko man din tatrain ko. So, how many followers? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
So, ma- maganda rin yun, no? para balikan mo. Tapos hindi siya for the public. It's for you, basically. Oh. Thank you so much. So now, contestants, it's time for round two. Get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. So this is round two, and this is question number one. Which 17th century Binondo born martyr became the first Filipino saint in 1987? The first Filipino saint was San Lorenzo Ruiz. Question number two the line divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived refers to the wives of which famous monarch? They are the wives of Henry VIII. Question number three. What island in Indonesia gives its name to a variety of coffee or a programming language? This is the island of Java in Indonesia. Question number four. Which English playwright created the title characters Othello, Hamlet, and Macbeth? Of course, it is William Shakespeare. Question number five. What type of dog is the very popular breed Labrador? The Labrador is actually a retriever or a sporting dog. Question number six. What is the title of the 2004 comedy movie starring Lindsay Lohan or its 2024 musical version that includes the song Meet the Plastics? Oa. Mean Girls. Mean Girls is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. In fiction, what do you call a person who changes into a wolf, typically when there is a full moon? Oa. Werewolf. Werewolf is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. What is the title of the romantic movie starring Ding Dong Dantes and Marianne Rivera at the 2023 MMFF that has a title that means to make a recording go back towards the beginning? Yana? Rewind. Rewind is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What social networking service did Mark Zuckerberg launch with his Harvard schoolmates in 2004? Yana. Facebook. Facebook is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What term may refer to a thin book with a paper cover, a building storing explosives and other supplies, or a part of a gun where bullets are stored? This is called a magazine. Question number 11. What is the name of the doctor who created a famous creature in the 1818 novel of Mary Shelley of the same name? The correct answer is Frankenstein or Frankenstein. Either will be acceptable. And finally, question number 12. She won a Best Actress Award for the movie Funny Girl before becoming one of the best-selling recording artists of all time. Who is this singer whose hits include People, The Way We Were, and the 2016 reissue Enough is Enough? Who doesn't know? Barbara Streisand. And that's it for our second round. So after that round, let's do a points recap. Oa is leading with 90 points, followed by Yana with 50 points, Tin with 10 points, and Kyle, meron pa tayong isang round para makahabol ka. Oo. 
Pero pwede ka talagang humabol dahil hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan round na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Owa is leading with 90 points, followed by Yana with 50 points, Tin with 10 points, and Kyle, may isa pang round, hahabol ka pa dapat. Pero syempre, paparating na nga ang ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, the questions will be coming from our panel of experts. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. So let's start the ultimate pagalingan round with the first question from Dean Mitzi. So here's the first question. What is the hand-woven tubular piece of clothing measuring around 48 centimeters by 4 meters and was traditionally worn by the Ilonga women from the Western Visayas region? A. Malong, B. Tapis, C. Patajong, D. Lufid, E. Terno. This is a woven multicolored plaid and striped garment used as an everyday wear of the Ilongo women. This woven textile is acknowledged as part of the cultural heritage of the Visayas region and has been practiced for generations since the 19th century when Iloilo was considered the leading textile center of the Philippines. The answer is Patajong. Prosecute. Chemistry tayo. When a chemical reaction absorbs heat from its surroundings, what is the process known as? A. Exothermic. B. Endothermic. C. Adiabatic. D. Isothermal. E. Isobar. The correct answer is endothermic. Endothermic reactions absorb heat from their surroundings, causing a decrease in temperature. Prof. Lu. Uh, Philippine geography tayo. What is the capital of Sultan Kudarat? Letter A, Isulan. Letter B, Takurong City. Letter C, Palimbang. Letter D, Bagumbayan. Or letter E, President Quirino. Sultan Kudarat Province was named after the Maguindanawan Muslim ruler Sultan Muhammad di Patuan Kudarat, who reigned in the Sultanate of Maguindanao from 1625 to 1671. Its capital is Isulan. The correct answer is letter A. Salamat, Prof. Lu. Second set of questions from Dean Mitzi. What is the name of the small rodent character created by Nonoy Marcelo, one of the foremost cartoonists in the Philippines? A. Bubwit B. Otik, C. Pupong, D. Ikabod, E. Kasmot. Hindi umabot. Sorry, Owa. This is the most famous character created by Marcelo that was the representation of the socio-political miseries of the ordinary Filipinos. The satirical comic strip ran from the late 1970s through 2002. The answer is Ikabot. In the process of erosion, which natural agent is primarily responsible for the transportation of large rocks and sediment? A. Wind B. Water C. Ice D. Gravity E. Glacier Oa. Um, letter B, water. 
Water through rivers and streams is a powerful agent of erosion, transporting rocks and sediment across the Earth's surface. Kei Chen. Roughly. Founded in 1611, it is the oldest university in the Philippines. Letter A, Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Letter B, Beaterio de Santa Catalina. Letter C, University of Santo Tomas. Letter D, Ateneo Municipal de Manila. Or letter E, Lyceum of the Philippines. Oa. Um, letter C, University of Santo Tomas. The University of Santo Tomas, established in 1611, as the Colegio de Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario is the oldest university of the Philippines. That is the correct answer, K-Check. Who is the Taosuk Filipino painter and sculptor? The first Moro to receive the recognition as national artist for the visual arts in 2006. A. Joyef Hamalul B. Toyem Imau C. Ramir Tawasil, D. Abdul Mari Imau, E. Kublai Milan. Oa. Um, letter D. Abdul Mari Imau. He is known for using okir, sari manok, and danaga as motifs in his artworks and is acknowledged for popularizing these motifs to the Filipino national consciousness. He draws his inspiration from Taosug and Marunao art. K-Check. What is the unit of force in the international system of units? A. Newton. B. Watt. C. Joule. D. Pascal. E. Coulomb. Oh, well. I'm letter A. Newton. Newton is the SI unit of force named after Sir Isaac Newton. Kaycha. Oh, talagang nasa lead si Owa. Ha? Tingnan natin kung... Kaya pang humabol ni Latin kay Latana. Let's go. Okay, world geography tayo. What is the name of the world's largest island that is not a continent? Letter A, Greenland. Letter B, Borneo. Letter C, New Guinea. Letter D, Honshu in Japan, and letter E, Madagascar. Oh, uh. um, letter C, New Guinea. Mali. Anyone can steal? Greenland is officially the world's largest island that is not a continent. Home to 56,000 people, Greenland has its own government, but it's also part of the realm of Denmark. The correct answer is A, Greenland. Thank you. Now we enter the last round of questions for the ultimate Pagalingan round. Dean Mitzi. Who is the Tiboli princess from Lake Cebu, a Tinalak weaver who was conferred the National Living Treasure Award in 1998, known as Kawad Manlilikha Nambayan or Gamaba? A. Salita Monon B. Magdalena Gamayo C. Darhata Sawabi D. Lang Dulay E. Almakan Oa. Um, letter D. Lang Dulay She is known for maintaining the use of traditional motifs in tinalak weaving amidst commercialization of the craft. She has the knowledge of around 100 patterns and designs. Some of these were based on her dreams. Hence, she is described as dream weaver. K check. Which semiconductor material is commonly used in the manufacturing of electronic devices and integrated circuit? A. Silicon carbide. B. Gallium arsenide. C. Indium phosphide. D. Silicon. E. Germanium. Oh, uh. Letter D. Silicon. Excellent semiconductor properties, abundance, and ability to be easily processed into electronic components are some of silicon's properties. HM. Last question for this round from Prof. Lu. Who was the first Filipino featured on the cover of Time magazine? Letter A. Manuel L. Quezon. 
Letter B, Manuel Rojas. Letter C, Ramon Magsaysay. Letter D, Corazon Aquino. Letter E, Jose P. Laurel. Oh, uh. um, letter D, Corazon Aquino. Mali. Ay. Anyone can steal? Manuel Quezon was a Filipino lawyer, statesman, soldier, and politician, and was the first president of the Philippine Commonwealth. He was featured in the cover of Time magazine when he was uh, elected as president from 1935. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Kahit na mali ang kanyang last answer, ay congratulations pa rin kay Oa, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 240 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. I'd like to thank also the other contestants, Tin, Kyle, and Diana. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. Thank you so much. I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. Hey,